taken. Oh shit. Sorry I'm late, man. Hey guys, welcome back to the car click. And in this video, you can see this is my car. It's a Citroen DS3 and it's really dirty. You can see there's cobwebs, there's bird shit, there's so much dust. That's because I've not washed it in two months. I think I'm gonna be sick. Trust me, even this cat's walking like away from it. Like but we have some good news. That's because we're going through the easy 15 minute car washing technique. And it starts off with the equipment list. First up, we have Auto Glim Glass Cleaner for your windows and your mirrors. Next, we have Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel to make sure your tires are all clean and their endurance is good, I guess. Yep, and then we got the Canon for the snow foam. And we also have, obviously, the snow foam itself. And most of our products are Auto Glim, but you can choose any. Then we have the wheel cleaner. Alongside this, we have the brush used for hard to reach areas in the tires and also the engine bay, it can be used there as well. And next we have the bucket for hand washing the car later alongside the microfiber cloth and obviously the pressure washer. Make sure your one has a high pressure setting that is suitable for cars. You can get them really cheap for 50 pound to over 300 pound if you really want to, but it does the job this one by Nil Fisk. And yeah, and you need your hose as well, obviously for the- of the car make sure there's no dirt no rocks no nothing on the car and make sure that it's clean for the next part of the process doing so will make your life much easier and also prevent lots of scratches getting on your car When using the snow foam cannon, make sure to cover all of the car from top to bottom. The product should be applied in a motion going left to right. And when you're done, just take the attachment off and leave the snow foam on the car for roughly five minutes. As you can see, the wheels over here look so nice when they're coated in the snow foam. That's the snow foam doing its work. And when you're ready, you can move on to the next stage, which is rinsing off. The main tip we have for this stage is to make sure to even rinse off the hidden parts of your car. If you want, this is the perfect stage to use a custom wheel cleaner on your car. This will make sure that all the wheels are evenly coated and protected later after you're on the road. At this stage, you'll need the bendy brush and make sure you thoroughly clean the wheels to make sure no dirt is left behind. Then rinse off like usual. This is an equally important stage guys. Make sure when you're hand washing, go in a motion that's left to right and not in swirls so you don't damage the paintwork. Continue doing this all the way around the car until you're satisfied with your job. For this stage, the main tip is to make sure to open your door and dry down as well because over there most people forget that there's still water and soap left over. In this video, we also decided to use some tire shine. We don't have an applicator so we just used a microfiber cloth and all you want to do is apply it in circles all the way around the tire 
and that's the outside of the tire you don't want to use too much because it is quite expensive at the end of the day to compare here's a tire without tire shine and here's one that we applied tire shine to look at the difference guys overall the car looks so clean and so good to top everything off we added some brake cleaner to the discs to prolong their life the car will be so clean at this point that you won't even be able to find one speck of dust anywhere on the car body just for a quick comparison, we're going to show how clean it was before and how clean it is now. And that's the end of the video guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe and remember to turn notifications on to know when our next video is out. Hopefully we hit 50 likes on this video for another one. See you guys.